Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I thought it would be a nice idea if you show you one of my favorite productivity apps and it is Forest. Forest is, like I said, a productivity app that helps you stay concentrated and some of you asked me about this app and if I could show it to you and explain all the functions. So I thought, yes, let's do this. The main dashboard in Forest is where you can pick the time you want to study or do something else and set your timer. You can choose between different trees and if you plant a tree, you earn money or like coins and you can invest those coins back into a tree so you can unlock more yeah, kind of trees. Like you can see, I've unlocked every tree that exists in the app, so this is why you can see so many. And there are also some more settings you can make, like setting what, what tag your session is, like studying or maybe sport or school or whatever. You can even create your own tags with your own like description. you can also save your settings so if you have a favorite tree with a favorite time and a tag you can click the little heart button and it will save to your favorite so you can find it quickly and use it again and again There are also some trees which look different depending on what time you set your timer to. So for example, the moon tree will have little extras if you set it to 90 minutes or 2 hours or 3 hours instead of 10 minutes. In the top part of the dashboard you also have some more setting options which includes the deep focus mode which you can deactivate so your tree won't die if you leave the app and the plan together mode which allows you to enter a room by a room code or create your own room so you can study together and plan together with your friends. In the right upper corner you can see how many coins you currently have. Next up, I want to show you some more pages, which you can see when you click the little like menu button. And first thing is the timeline, which is basically just a feed of all your plants and trees and achievements. This page is an overview of your tags and allows you to edit them or delete them or yeah, do whatever with them. Next part is your friends section, which gives you an overview of all your forest friends and also a ranking of who did best so far. You also have a global ranking list. If you go back and click the little arrow at the bottom, you can also see a list of all your friends and your pending friends requests and you can also add new friends. You can add them by email and if you type in the email you see on the screen you can add me to your friends and I'm more than happy to accept your friend request. Next thing we are looking at are your achievements which is like a list of badges you can earn through doing certain things and everything that's great that's something you haven't unlocked yet and everything that's like colorful is something you already have and if you unlock those badges you can also earn coins which is really helpful if you want to buy new trees. In the store you have the option to spend all your coins on new trees and like plants and like you can see I've unlocked them all so you can't see the price but some trees are more expensive than others and there are also some exclusive trees and one thing not many people know about is that Forest is actually also giving you sounds you can use while using the app so you can also unlock these with 500 coins each. 
On the next page, you have the option to spend your coins and plant a real tree, which will cost you 2,500 coins. And um, like you can see, I can't do it right now because it will lead me to my Safari browser, but uh, I will do this later and plant some real trees. Next up is the news section, which is just a timeline of the latest forest news and you should definitely keep an eye on that because sometimes you have the chance to unlock special trees if you fulfill some challenges. Lastly, we are looking at the settings section where you can yeah, just change your settings and make some adjustments and you also have the chance to invite your friends by your special friends code which will give you 500 coins for each friend and your friend who will sign up will also get 500 coins so this is like really a great option and if you type in my code you will get 500 coins and i'm getting 500 coins too and besides this it's really just a bunch of settings so maybe take an eye on that and go through it so you just find the perfect settings for yourself but for now let's head back to our dashboard and actually plant a tree and see what happens so you can actually get an idea of what it will look like and how it will work if you plant your tree and lock your phone When you start planting your tree, you will get like a 10 seconds countdown, which allows you to cancel your session without anything happening. So if you just came to the button on uh, accident, this is like a great option to cancel last minute. Like I mentioned before, Forest gives you the option to actually activate a background sound. So this is really helpful if you like the sound of a special noise like a cafe or maybe some waves and I always pick the cafe in Paris um, sound because this really helps me to concentrate but uh, if you don't need it you can just turn it off and also switch in between the sounds. When your tree is done you get a push notification and also earn some coins and if you plan for longer, let's say 90 minutes, you also earn more coins than if you would plant it for 10 minutes. One thing we haven't looked at yet is your flowers, like your proper flowers, which is the overview of all the plants and trees you've planted. And um, this is, I think, the best part of the app because it shows you in a graphic way how much time you spend being productive. And it's also really colorful and I don't know, I just love looking at it. And you can split between days or weeks or months or even years, so it's just the best overview you can have. Before this video ends, I want to show you what happens if you like don't manage to keep your tree or plant alive. So what it looks like uh, when you just cancel the session or leave the app uh, if you have activated the deep focus mode. And I also want to show you how you can delete like a, like a dead tree. So that's actually also possible if you don't want to mess up your forest. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and uh, maybe you will get the forest app too. And yeah, if you liked the video, just give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and maybe also leave a nice comment. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, see you next time.